I want to tell you a story about a young trainer, a visitor to Alola just before your arrival. Yes, that's right, there was a trainer before you. However, this poor unfortunate soul was not destined to be the first champion of Alola. Our story begins with Leaf, a visiting trainer from the Kanto region, here to complete the island trials and meet as many Pokemon as possible. Being naive, Leaf assumed that she had dealt with all kinds of Pokemon back home, Alola's native Pokemon would be a breeze. Before long, she had arrived at Ula Ula Island, ready to take on her next trial. But it wasn't clear, where did she need to go? Where does this one take place? Not completely sure of where to head to next, she wandered aimlessly through the various routes on the island, challenging trainers everywhere. The closer she came to the mysterious, withered-looking mart up ahead, the trainers had warned her. Please, don't go any further. But this just made the girl more and more determined to get there, and find out why the residents were afraid of some old store. Eventually, she made it to the entrance. On the sign above it read, Thrifty Megapunt. <laughs> can't be that bad, she thought as she walked closer to the doors. Just then she noticed the girl standing by the bushes, just staring. Hey you, do you know anything about this place? She called to the purple headed girl, but she just stared straight through her as if she wasn't even there. Nervously, Leaf approached the girl to see if she was okay. The young girl then shifts her gaze to Leaf and says, would you mind taking a picture of my totem Pokemon Mimikyu? Unsure if she should trust the girl, she decides to try somewhere else. But as she turns away, the ghostly looking girl looks up again. If you take a picture of my Mimikyu, you'll complete the trial and I'll be eternally grateful to you. Against her better judgement, Leaf turned right around and marched into the abandoned Mega Mart. Slowly making her way through the aisles, she could hear something moaning, almost crying but not like the ghost Pokemon she had encountered back home. She came across a Haunter or two along the way and took care of them fairly easily. After a short while searching, there was only one way left to go, the back room. She felt a cold air over her shoulders, right down to her feet. Something felt different about this place. An overwhelming feeling of sadness. She reaches slowly for the door handle to the back room, heart pounding in her chest as the ends of her fingertips grew colder and colder, not knowing what could be looming in the shadows of this dusty old office. As the door slowly opens, the faint sound of crying gets louder and louder. Finally, with one big swing, she throws the door open wide, but there was nothing. Looking through the damaged boxes, she found images of a trainer she recognised from home. A champion. There were even pictures of him on the wall. Relieved, although a little disappointed that she hadn't found Mimikyu, Leaf turns around, and to her surprise... <laughs> there it was. It was the Pokemon the weird girl had told her about. She quickly reached for a Pokefinder to get her picture. As she looked up to take the shot, Mimikyu threw up his cloth, revealing its true form. The young trainer was in shock, and now rapidly becoming purple in colour. With her last burst of energy, she tried to flee. 